Recently Cling 2.6, Sara 2, Nano Banana Pro, Seedream 4.5, and new versions of many other AI tools have been released. Today I want to teach you a completely free method that lets you access all of these AIs in one place. More importantly you will be able to compare their image and video outputs side by side and download them without any watermark. At the end of this tutorial there is also a golden tip, a special trick that can explosively increase your daily free credits. So make sure to stay with the video and watch carefully until the very end. Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. We go to the Rflow website. We need a user account. From the top right corner of the site I click login. Since I already have an active Google account in my browser I click continue with Google. I select one of my accounts and this is how I enter the workspace. From the top right corner you can access your user profile and the logout option. Let us go to the pricing section so you can clearly see that we are on the free plan. On this plan you receive 100 credits every day to generate images and videos. As you can see I currently have 3100 credits. At the end of this video I will show you how to increase your credits completely for free so make sure to watch until the end. Using the top menu I enter the workspace. I create a new project. First let me introduce the workspace which might look a bit strange to some of you. It is actually very simple. Each input is a place where we enter a prompt and also upload an image. With a right click we can delete it using the delete option. Again by right clicking inside the workspace we can create as many inputs as we want. To move an input we just grab the input box and place it anywhere we like in the workspace. From the right side of each input we can create a branching node that connects the content of that input to the image or video generation process. When the number of nodes increases we can move around the workspace using the hand tool to manage the environment. From the bottom right corner using the plus and minus tools we can zoom in and zoom out. For convenience there is also a zoom to fit option. Let us start by generating images so I delete the video node. I paste the prompt that I prepared earlier into the input box. I connect this input to the image generation node and now we go to its settings. From the drop down list and among the models for this node I select Nano Banana Pro which is very new and trending. Then I set the number of images in the generation process to 1. I set the image size to 1K. I also set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. I want to generate the same prompt with another model as well. To avoid repetitive work I right click and copy these two items which are the input and the image node and paste them into an empty area of the workspace. Now we have a new input and we change its settings so it is different from the previous one. The prompt stays the same. From the models here I select Seedream 4.5. This workflow allows us to have multiple AI models in one workspace and work with all of them at the same time. To avoid repetitive work again I select all the items we have created and make a copy of them. In input number 3 I change the image model to Quinn image. In input number 4 I change the image model to Ideogram 3. Again I make copies from two of the items we created. You can see how simple this is. In input number 5 I set the image model to Kling 01. In input number 6 I set the image model to Flux 2. Now we have linked one prompt to six image generation models. I enable the run option for all inputs. Now in each input the selected AI model processes the prompt. After a very short time the thumbnails of all generated images appear together in this workspace. When I hover over a thumbnail I can access the download option and the zoom preview. Now let us compare the images. The first image is from Nano Banana Pro. It matches the prompt well and the result is very impressive. Now let us look at the image generated by Quinn Image. It looks somewhat artificial and it feels like the processing quality is not very good. Now let us look at the image from Seadream 4.5. The concept, the atmosphere, the framing and the characters are very appealing but the image is not very sharp. 
I probably should have increased the resolution in the settings. Now let us check the image generated by Ideogram 3. This one also looks artificial. The character and the background do not match well and the hair looks badly blended. Now let us look at the image generated by Kling 01. In this image the character shapes look fine but the color grading and the framing are really bad. It feels like each character was cut out separately and then combined on a single canvas. Finally let us look at the image generated by Flux 2. It respects the idea and combines the elements from the prompt well but the image is not realistic and looks more like a comic style illustration. First place goes to Nano Banana Pro. Second place goes to Sea Dream 4.5 and Flux 2. Last place goes to Quen Image and Ideogram 3 and Kling 01. Now you tell me was my ranking fair or not. Now let us move on to the video creation method. I create a new project. We have one input item for entering the prompt. I branch the video generation panel from it. I paste the prompt that I prepared earlier into the input box. In the video panel for this input I set the video model to Kling 2.6. For this video I enable the sound section. I also set the video length to 5 seconds. I select both items and duplicate them using copy and paste. Now for input number 2 I change the video model to see dance 1 light. Here I set the video resolution to 1080. I set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9. I also set the video length to 5 seconds. Now I select all items and duplicate them again using copy and paste. Now for input number 3 I change the video model to Sara 2. In this section I can set the aspect ratio so I set it to 16 by 9. I also set the video length to 4 seconds. For input number 4 I change the video model to Kling 01. In this section I can set the aspect ratio so I set it to 16 by 9. I also set the video length to 5 seconds. Now in each input I enable the run option so the video generation process starts with different AI models inside this same workspace. After a short time the video thumbnails appear. Let us watch the video generated by Kling 2.6 together. It generates very nice shots but the character on the right side has a glitch and the movement does not look natural. Let us watch the video generated by Sea Dance 1 Light. It creates an interesting scene and the camera movement is cinematic but the quality is not very high and it does not feel very realistic. Let us watch the video generated by Sora 2. It generates very beautiful shots and the scenes look highly cinematic and professional. The only downside is that the video quality is not very high. Let us watch the video generated by Kling 01. The character movements look natural and the colors and the scene do not have major issues. I just think the camera movement choice could have been better. In my opinion for this prompt Sora 2 and Kling 01 perform better and Kling 2.6 and Sea Dance 1 Lite were almost on the same level. What do you think? Now let me show you the smart way to grow your credits. This isn't a hack or a secret trick. It's an official feature inside Artflow. The Artflow website gives you only 100 credits per day which is honestly very low. The golden point here is the invite friends option. This option is officially and legally provided by the website for everyone. With this option every person who signs up using your personal link instantly gives you 300 credits. I copy the invite link that our flow assigns to my account and share it with my friends. My friends sign up through this invite link and I receive free credits. It is that simple. Many people ignore this method. You probably do not try it yourself. But all 3100 credits that you saw on my account are collected this exact way and completely legally. With this simple method you can also build a very large amount of credits for image and video creation at no cost and you no longer have to worry about running out of credits. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. If you did it is time to hit the like button hard. In the next tutorial you will see things that will truly surprise you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you never miss a new tutorial. Artificial intelligence is the future. Embrace it today.